Welcome to Wiggins TV. We gonna get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wiggins. In 2019, I went to jail for some bullshit. I can't elaborate on it much because there's a lot of little counterparts that's still pending, and plus, I'm still on paper. Anyway, I was sitting in my cell. One day, they came and got us for court. They lined us up one by one to get on the bus. And mind you, it's dark outside. It's like four or five o'clock in the morning. So here we are shackled up by the hands and waiting outside the bus for the pigs, I mean the deputies, to let us on. So as we waiting outside the bus, people start getting frustrated because they taking forever. And I mean, we are in jail and we don't want to be here. <laughs> so as I'm chilling, I notice a tall dude in front of me. He was slim, but buff. This arms looked like he benched 300 pounds or something. I don't know. So he was facing forward. All of a sudden, he turns around and looks at everybody. We all scattered all over the place. Then he starts staring at me. I'm like, oh, sh here we go. Why does come with me, bro? He probably going to say what everybody else in the county jail say. Hey, cuz, you look familiar as f which leads to a fay. But in my head, I'm like, this dude must be crazy. Because we shackled up, so we can't even get down. Like, what is he trying to do? So he looks at me and goes, Hey, how long you been in here? I'm like, a few months. And you? He goes, a few weeks. I'm like, oh, all right. So we start talking and having a normal conversation. And I'm like, hmm, this dude all right. But I'm saying, we in the county jail, so I still got to keep my guards up and my eyes open, you know? But he was cool. Now, I'm not calling them soft or friendly in any way. And you're going to see why. Just two grown men having a normal conversation. So as we talking, it was a yellow dude that was real light-skinned. I had seen him earlier in line. He looked like he was looking for somebody because he kept looking around. But he had moved to the front of the line. So the deputy started cuffing us by twos and fours and put us on the bus and put us in these little cages. If you never been in jail, this is normal procedure when you go into court. So as me and the dude I was talking to walked on the bus, that light-skinned dude pointed at my boy and said, Hey, where you from? And my boy said, I'm from East Coast Crip. And he had the little stance that Cali do when, you know, they talking a shh with two fists in front of him. The light-skinned dude said a hood that I never heard of before. And that's with no disrespect to him. But he was like, hey, I'm from outer space crib or something like that. <laughs> and my boy was like, yeah, all right, what's happening there? Either the light skinned dude never heard him or he just turned it down because he didn't respond. So they cuffed me and the dude I was talking to together and put us in the same cage. It was a short ride to the courthouse. We got off the bus and they released us from one another and had us walk in line separately again. So we walk in the building, get on the elevator, and they take us to the court tank. It's like 10 of us in one court tank in there. So me and the dude I was talking to was the only black guys in there. Everybody else was of a different race, if you know what I mean. 
Now, I'm not racist, so I didn't think much of it. And I learned to love everybody, black, white, yellow, brown, orange. It didn't really matter to me. But not everybody in there felt the same way. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So one guy came into the tank with us and he asked my boy, hey, where are you from out there? And he was like, East Coast Crib. My name Easy. So I finally learned his name. And the other dude said he was from a hood that has a long history of beef with East Coast Crib, which I'm not gonna say for political reasons. But for some reason, the guy from another race, he was super nice to Easy. He was like, oh yeah, much love, I f with y'all. I hate the bloods, but I f with y'all. So in my head, I'm like, wow, this is so crazy. But it's cool, because we all getting along. Because for one, we all outnumbered in here. And for two, because of the past beef they got, it could get real ugly in a millisecond. So I start talking to Easy. I explained I had moved back to Cali from Miami and caught a Bush case. He was like, bro, trust me, you gonna get out soon. I caught one of those before. I even had a homie that caught one of those before and he had a bad record and he got out within like 30 days. You already been here for months for what you told me. You got this. You gonna remember I told you. But when you hit the streets, try to move smarter, bro. Man, I had really appreciated it easy, man. You could tell under all underneath them tats and the gang banging life, he was a really good dude. I was going crazy in that cell. He was like the only person besides my family and my girl that was giving me words of encouragement. So I asked him about his case. Now, I can't say too much, but I will say, Easy is innocent. He was telling me, just like I was, he got caught up in some bullshit. They tried to pin a case on him. The LAPD is notorious for being crooked and planning stuff on brothers. If you don't believe me, Type in LASD gangs on YouTube. There's a young woman by the name of Cerise Castle that'll tell you a lot about this crooked police department. I'm serious, check it out. Easy was telling me they trying to offer me 15 years, but I ain't taking it because I'm innocent. I feel it. My family gonna try to get a few thousand so I can get a lawyer to get that case gone respected that so I asked easy you believe in God he firmly said yeah for sure I told him you gonna be all right man you gonna make it out of here you a good dude we chopped it up for a long time and split some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and some cookies with each other a little orange juice milk too then Easy asked some dude to uh, use his wristband to call home using some minutes on his GTL. He called his dad and told him he loved him. Then the deputies came in and called Easy first up. And he was gone. And I never seen him again. Next thing you know, the dude that was so nice to Easy. He turned on me and started mad dogging me and banging on me, asking me where I'm from out of nowhere. You believe that? And that was race related. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to stop that story right there. That's going to wrap up today's episode of Wiggins TV. Hood legends. Hood legends. By the way, if you have any way I can get in contact with Easy, if you're from East Coast and you know who I'm talking about, 
write me in the comments section because uh, I want to try to help him in any way I can. Write a letter to him or send him something, you know? Whatever, sure. Last name start with an F. You already know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out of here. Wiggins!